Hello HP Touchpad users, great news! Today I'm going to show you how and when to use the WebOS Doctor. First off, I'd like to refer you to my threads here, because in each one of my threads you'll find a troubleshooting section with all this information. Now I have three main threads that can be found at both the Roots Wiki forum and the XDA Developers forum, and you can find convenient links at the top of the page to switch from one to the other depending on where you're a member. Now, my three main threads are the how to install, Android on the HP Touchpad the easy way, which is your full install guide. There's the how to update and install Android 4.2, 4.3, and 4.4 builds on the HP Touchpad. And my latest thread, how to install the Android 4.4.2 data media builds onto the HP Touchpad. So any one of these threads, you can simply have a look. There'll be links in the video's description. And you simply scroll down all the way down to the troubleshooting section. Now you may be wondering, well, what is the WebOS Doctor and when should I use it? Well, the WebOS Doctor is a program with two main functions for HP Touchpad users. It can either update your version of WebOS or fix problems with a damaged version of WebOS. For instance, if WebOS no longer boots or when you try to launch apps or preware, they fail to launch or don't work properly, well, you may need to call the doctor. Now recently I found that failed attempts to use the Taylor at Preware application were causing people to have problems with remounting the drive and things like that and caused people to need to use the WebOS Doctor. So if you're experiencing any problems after using Taylor, the Doctor might be the solution for you. Now we have a really important note right here. You must, absolutely must, uninstall Android before running the WebOS Doctor. Failing to remove Android before running the doctor can result in your touchpad getting stuck at the 8 to 12 percent marker with the doctor. You'll get stuck there, you won't be able to get out of it, your touchpad will run out of batteries, and you'll start panicking like crazy. This can lead to your touchpad becoming bricked, but there is of course threads that can help you if you've forgotten to remove Android and gotten stuck, here they are here, I've got links directly to them. And of course if you happen to have bricked your touchpad, JC Sons has an incredible thread here that will talk to you about fixing it. Now again, you must uninstall Android from the HP touchpad before running the WebOS Doctor, I cannot stress that enough. Now our next important note for you is that running the Doctor will completely wipe all your personal information, applications, and preware apps from the HP touchpad. Your media, your personal data, like your music and your movies, won't be affected and it'll still be there once this completes. However, I recommend backing up anything that's important to you before running this procedure. Now our final important note, after running the WebOS Doctor, you may find you're unable to download and install applications from the WebOS Store. You may find that you're unable to do that now, and don't run the doctor, get this fix first. Now I've got a full thread about how to do this, and of course a step-by-step -step video. And you can check it out here in the XDA Developers Forum. Here is the video. You're basically going to need to set the date back to July 1st before you can get this update. I'll take you through the process. Just simply check out this thread here. And in addition, I have all these great WebOS performance tips to get the most out of using your WebOS by checking out this little guide here. Especially after running the doctor, you're going to lose any optimizations you would have made. So here's all the best optimizations and little tweaks and fixes. Of course, you can also flash the A6 firmware from WebOS and improve your battery drain during sleep. Check out my thread for all the advice and latest information. Now back to the guide. Now we're going to show you how to run the WebOS Doctor. Step number one, you must have Java installed on your PC. Simply click the link here to go to the Java page, download or upgrade Java by clicking this big red button here. Agree and start the free download. It's very straightforward. Make sure that's installed before you go to the next step. We're going to be downloading a jar file and we will need Java. Step number two. Now, as we mentioned before, you must, absolutely must, completely uninstall Android from the HP touchpad before running the WebOS Doctor. Now I've got a full video that takes you step by step how to run the Acme Uninstaller 2. This is by iMark90, big thanks to him for this great file. And we'll simply click the link here, you can watch the full video, it has all the links and information. Hello HP Touch! And I'll tell you how to uninstall Android from the HP Touchpad. Any version will be uninstalled. Step number three. We'll want to download the latest version of the WebOS Doctor. Currently the latest version is 3.0.5. You can download this latest version from the link here. Now if you want to check your current version, boot into WebOS, go to the launcher, the up arrow on the desktop, 
go to settings, device info, and look at the version number. You can compare this to the version numbers in the link here. Here we have all the available versions of the WebOS Doctor. The latest version is here at the bottom. Simply follow this link to begin the download. It's a jar file, here it is. You'll need to have Java installed, of course. Now it's about 223 megs, it takes a little while to download. Once you've got it downloaded, you can put it on your desktop or any safe location where you can find it later. Now let's refer back to the guide. Step four. Now it's time to put the tablet into WebOS recovery mode. If we're currently in WebOS, we'll do this by going to Settings, Device Info, select Reset Options, and choose Restart. Now, as soon as the screen goes dark, we're going to need to hold the Volume Up button. Press and hold that button, don't let go. If you've done this correctly, a big USB symbol will now be displayed on the screen. If you don't time this properly, simply reboot the device and try again. To force a reboot, you can hold down the power button and press the home button 15 times. Now that the big USB symbol is on the screen, plug the device into your computer with the USB cable. Step 5. Now we're ready to run the WebOS Doctor by double clicking the jar file we previously downloaded. Of course, we'll need to have our tablet in WebOS recovery mode and plugged into our PC. Before you do this, make sure your tablet has a good charge. I'd recommend fully charging it before starting this. It could take anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour to complete. Make sure you're fully charged. Once you've checked all that, all you need to do is run this jar file, double click it here, and we'll take you through the steps. Now select your language and confirm it. Accept the license agreement and click next. It'll give you the same warning here about of course making sure you have a good charge, 15 minutes to an hour to complete, and all your data will be lost. Now here they mention that if you have your stuff backed up to your WebOS account it'll download it automatically. I don't know if this service works anymore but with the WebOS kind of services slowly disappearing uh, don't rely on this. All your information will be deleted and you're going to need to re-enter it. Simply go next to start this procedure and be patient please. Now if you get stuck at the dreaded 8 to 12 percent, simply refer back to my guide and check that thread. Again, you must have Android uninstalled before starting this procedure. Once this completes, it'll reboot to WebOS and it'll be like brand new. You'll have to re-enter your information and start it over again. After you've done that, you can refer to my guide and get the root certificate fixed to get your WebOS apps downloaded again, and you'll need to change the date back to July 1st, 2013. Don't forget to check the bottom of the page for all the tweaking and performance tips for your WebOS side. Get it while it's hot. Get it all set up and updated. Please subscribe to see the latest updates with the HP Touchpad Android and WebOS, all your tutorials and information, and like the video. Thanks for watching, everybody.